It's a date all in local football has been longing for. And today, the Pro League CEO let the date be known. At this point, we are geared towards kicking off on the 1st of June. That is the day that we project to, to kick off. Um, most likely, we're going to do it just the same way that we always do, kick off with the Charity Shield. And so we are on course for June 1st as we speak. She says despite the uncertainty, the teams have been preparing as they eagerly anticipate kickoff. Well, I know uh, most of the teams are in training now. They would have started uh, probably early April, at the beginning of, of April, mid-April there, once the decision to start on the 1st of June was made. And so there were teams who were actually um, in training before, right, like, like W Connection, and they were already in training. So most of the teams we know so far, they too, uh, preparing for the June 1st start. With difficult financial times, the league is continuously looking for new sponsors. Finances, we're working on it. We're speaking with, with sponsors or potential sponsors. We're trying to negotiate sponsorship for the league. Um, so all of that is ongoing for us. Um, we're hoping um, to be successful with, in that regard. and. When we are, I guess Trinidad and Tobago will know. Ms. Batiste adds, the league understands its value to national football. If you don't have a professional league in your country, it would be very difficult for your national team to make it to a World Cup. You know, because within the, the professional scheme of things, you have players who will be training regularly. And so um, with that will come a level of fitness you know, for, with the players and, uh, you know, uh, the, the tactical aspect of the game because players would be, you know, playing at a higher level, they start to understand certain things so that they would be able to also give a national coach um, what he wants. Several players have changed the clubs and a few coaching changes have occurred as well as teams try to adapt to their new financial realities even as they try to remain competitive. Kent Fuentes, C-Sport Extra.